will fall like rain. small number of players, primarily in Australia, will briefly have access to test the game and help us look at our early leveling experience as well as our mid-game systems. We're looking for feedback from alpha testers to make sure that we're delivering on that visceral combat, epic loot, and amazing moment-to-moment -moment gameplay you've come to expect from Diablo. Progress continues on our all new storyline, which takes place in between the events of Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. The story begins in Wortham and will take players through some new and familiar places. We'll be sharing the first part of the storyline with testers in the alpha. In addition to the main quest line, participants will encounter a variety of mini quests, side dungeons, and bosses. Players will also be able to meet up with one another in Westmarch, the central hub city in Diablo Immortal. Some examples include a legendary item that turns your fireballs into frozen orbs that chill and slow your enemies, or one that upgrades your cleaving attack so that slain enemy corpses explode. For the first time in a Diablo game, Diablo Immortal will feature an item leveling system. You'll be able to salvage unwanted items into crafting materials and then use those materials to rank up the items you love the most. Every time an item gains a rank, its stats will improve. And at certain levels, your item will gain a random bonus property. We like how this system is coming along, and we look forward to refining the system after we collect feedback. We're making some changes to the Paragon system in Diablo Immortal. There will be a variety of Paragon trees to invest in, each suited to a different playstyle. One tree might focus on slaying enemies, while another might benefit group play. We're going to unlock Paragon levels at 45 in the Technical Alpha so that we can give that system some early testing. Elder Rifts are similar to Greater Rifts from Diablo 3 in that they are short, randomized experiences. In Diablo Immortal, players won't need keys to enter. You're welcome to run Elder Rifts to your heart's content to farm XP and loot. If a player uses a crest when they open an Elder Rift, that rift will gain random modifiers. Sometimes these modifiers are gonna make the rift more challenging, sometimes easier, but always more rewarding. Diablo Immortal will be free to play with optional in-game purchases available. Players should always feel that spending money in Diablo Immortal is entirely optional and not required to enjoy the game. We are not gonna limit your game time using an energy system. New classes will be accessible to everybody without requiring an in-game purchase. Diablo Immortal has been a labor of love. And on behalf of the entire Diablo Immortal team, thank you. And we can't wait until we can see all of you in Sanctuary. The world stone. It was the power of creation and the birth of our eternal conflict. From the high heavens to the burning hells, 
Our desire to control that power poisoned its very nature. And so, I gave my life to destroy it. Its corruption spread. If humanity is to survive, they must stand together and face the rising darkness. Though, that may not be enough. <laughs> 